Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. This package is from a viewer. His name is David, and uh, he's just a really cool dude. So basically, I believe what he told me is he's actually laid up right now. Uh, he's basically stuck in his bed all day, and he watches a lot of YouTube. <laughs> And uh, he's been enjoying my channel, which means a whole lot to me that he would spend his time watching my channel. Uh, he actually won one of my giveaways recently, and we've just chatted a little bit, and he offered to send me some knives. He sent me a list. Like, you guys are so amazing. I just really appreciate that. Um, I've been buying and buying and buying and buying knives, and I have purged some to bring funds back in. But I've gotten to a point where, like, I don't really want to keep spending an ass ton of money on things just to try them. Uh, because there's not all that much new stuff that's exciting to me. Now, I have, like, eight things pre-ordered that I'm waiting to come in. So that's part of it. That's just, like, tied up funds that hasn't, you know, they're months out. Uh, although a lot of them are supposed to be, like, May, June time. So hopefully I start getting those in. But that's, like seven or eight knives that I could potentially have sold already and brought more in, right? Or traded or whatever. So kind of a little game. And um, it's just nice to have a couple loaners come in every once in a while. And I've been getting a few lately. So the unboxing knife tonight, oh shit, I completely forgot about the Shadow Ranger. Well, I already used this, so um, hold on. The unboxing knife tonight is the Evertech Shadow Ranger. The greatest EDC knife of all time. The greatest spring assist knife ever invented. If you guys aren't watching this video to the end, it's the most important video you've ever seen in your life. All right. Let's pretend I cut it with this, okay? Sorry, I got a little carried away. Oh, and I want to say thank you to anyone who has joined the Shadow Ranger gang or group on Facebook. Uh, anybody who has bought somebody else a Shadow Ranger or bought themselves one, I love it. I love that this is a thing. I love that people are participating with it. Um, I love that this knife is so shitty that people are buying it just to make fun of it. Uh, that is why I originally did it. I love that Evatech is probably sitting around going, oh man, why did we have this spike in sales? And then they uh, look back and they realize that really they've only sold like five of these and Mtech is getting all the money. Because... <laughs> Everybody's buying the M Tech version. Whenever I send somebody when I buy the M Tech version, because this thing is twenty five dollars on Amazon, the M Tech version is ten. Like why? Would, and it comes in cool color. Cool. <laughs> I just said that. Cool color. Anyway, love you guys. All my Shadow Rangers out there, you my homies. All right. So this actually should be two button lock knives. Which is interesting because I don't see a lot of button locks on the channel. Well, you don't see them in general, but like, I don't know. It's weird. I guess I have checked out a lot of button locks, but we'll see. So, which one do I want to check out? Let's check out this one first. All right. I do have some LaCroix here, Coconut LaCroix. Shout out the Sharp underscore Marbles. That's his favorite flavor. Um, this is the Medford Smooth Criminal. I've heard a lot about this, and you guys know that I love Medford right now. Well, I love the Slim Midi right now. Doesn't necessarily mean I love Medford, so let me just pack this up right here. Drop that in my loaner bin. So you guys know, one of my favorite knives right now is... The Slim Midi. Fucking fantastic knife. Amazing. Love the build quality. Love the design. I just love a lot about this knife. So when he had the uh, Smooth Criminal on the list, 
I went ahead and said, yeah, brah, I'd love to check that out. This is a flipper. I didn't know that. Um, with a button lock. And that flipper looks weird. Uh, there's a button there. We have the four gun pivot. We are dead centered. I like that. We have a uh, kind of bent clip there. It looks like titanium. Titanium backspacer. You have a hook here. In case you want to hang this up, like in your kitchen with your kitchen knives, you can actually just uh, put a little piece of string on there and then hang it, you know, on a hook or something. Um, or maybe it's for a lanyard. I don't know. Uh, looks more like one you'd see, like, on a spatula or something. Um, of course, I'm being a dickhole. We have a button here, which looks to be a six-gun, six-gun button. We have some free floating action here on the button. All right, it locks up. There is no blade play. That's pretty solid for a button lock. Um, it is S35VN. It says uh, Phoenix, Arizona. It has a hollow grind with a really nice uh, belt satin or belt. It might. Be, it's their tumbled finish, I think. Uh, so, ergonomics actually fits in my hand like a fucking glove. Holy shit. That feels really good in my hand. Um, okay, that's all good. How does it drop? Drop shut. Now, the big question. How is the detent? <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Oh my god. It's freaking putrid. I can't flip it open. Man, I am really trying, dude. I mean, I had to give it the Dirk warning. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. See, now this is the perfect example of a knife that should have the no deployment method button lock like the Elemento. With this knife, boom, right? This is freaking money. Maybe Medford meant to do the no flipper tap thing, like no deployment methods at all, because you literally can't, I mean, this detent, there is no detent on it. And you really have to hammer it. And it's a freaking tiny little flipper tab. I mean, it's not good, guys. But the Elementum style works pretty well, actually. So next time I have a, uh, a meeting, I'm going to bring this guy with me. And uh, I'm just going to sit there in the meeting and be like, Look how cool we are with our Savivi. I mean, Medford Slim Smooth Criminals. I can't even say it right. Problem is, it's too smooth. <laughs> I'm being serious. It's almost too smooth that when you flip out, it like bounces off and starts coming back down again. And then you have to like let go of the button at the right moment. I mean, you can definitely do it. Yeah. So this is a, a well-built, really, I actually kind of like this knife. I like the Ergos. Um, very much. I just absolutely cannot get behind that flipper tab. So that sucks a lot. Really want to like that one. That is the Smooth Criminal from Medford. And then we have the full size Slim Pickens. This is why I'm getting confused, guys. Slim Midi, Slim Pickens, Smooth Criminal. Like, jeez. Oh my God, this is a big boy. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. Now, this thing is a sexy beast. Look at this, guys. Now, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this knife. So much so that it made me want to get the mini Slim Pickens when it came out. Uh, which, ultimately, I was glad I didn't. Because, thanks to my buddy Jake, Bearded Gear, we found out that it doesn't really work left-handed for some reason. Just the way the flipper's designed. Now, we'll see how this one goes. Um, it is dead centered. I believe these are made by Riot. Actually, I'm 90% sure these are made by Riot for 
Alliance Designs. Another knife with a six gun pivot, which is interesting. Um, you have this button sticking out here. The always oddly decided fake button over here. I never understood that. I think it kills the design for me. This weird looking flipper tab, which better have a damn good detent if it's going to be shaped like that. Um, really cool looking knife. It is a heavy son of a bitch though. Um, so that kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it right handed and uh, let's give it a flipper. Okay, we have an ass ton of detent lap. I mean, that is an epic ass ton. Look at that. I mean, that is before it breaks any, right there, it breaks out. So that is, that is detent lash, guys. But in a weird way, because it's kind of got like a spring to it there. Now, I think that's how they get it to work as a detent. They have some kind of, oh, what the hell's going on there? All right, well, anyway, if I don't act like a bitch and do this, right? Now it's kind of gone. I don't know what the hell that was about. All right, let's flip it left-handed. Flies out. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is what uh, Jake was talking about. And so was... Um... It's like weird left-handed. Now, all right. Now when we look at the... Holy shit. Okay. This has a hollow grind on it. I mean, look at this blade shape. That It's just a... To me, it's a good-looking knife. It's so different. Um, it has this sheep's footy drop point thing. This hollow grind, guys... This honestly feels as good as my Evo 2.0. And that is fucking saying something. Like, I can literally feel my other finger on the other side. It is super thin. Comes down to a super thin edge. Wow. That is insane. The sound on the clothes is awesome. It really just tinks down. It's more of a clackety clack. It's not like mechanical. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know. It's not mechanical. Also, this corner down here is really digging into my palm when I disengage, and that hurts like a bitch. Um, can I, does it have a double detent? No. Or it was removed. Uh, man, it really slaps in there. Yeah, there's something weird about it left-handed. Like, Well, maybe I just I need to get used to the detent. Yeah, it's just, uh, again, the flipper tab, the shape of it is cool, but it really doesn't lend itself to being flipped out very well. Like, you can see I'm trying, you know, unless I really, like, give it gas. I mean, if I just flip, it... <sighs> yeah, it's just not great, guys. So, that's... Yeah, it's just uncomfortable left-handed. There's something about it just... I don't know. Um, it's two button locks that look really cool, actually feel really good in my hand. Like this ergonomically is pretty good. Um, not as good as that smooth criminal, that's for sure. But I have a decent grip here. And then you have this giant flat you could choke up on. Um, and then you can use it like this, which is fine. It's kind of weird actually, but it's okay. Um, cool ass noise, but not as cool as I thought. From what I've heard, it had these amazing mechanical sounds. It's cool. It's just not, like, amazing. It's it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm trying to think of something to compare it to. And I can't. There's some knives that just tink, 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 and that's awesome. Uh, this is not the best I've heard. So, But it's cool, for sure. Uh, so yeah, guys, two uh, button lock knives that kind of fall a bit short for me just from the unboxings. They have their downfalls. Um, but again, I keep thinking, 
Okay. Like I want to keep saying David, and it is David. But I, for a second there, I almost said Richard. <laughs> you know, I'm a dick. I'm sorry. David, I super duper, super duper appreciate you sending these my way. Uh, the Alliance Design Slim Pickens and the Medford Knife and Tool Smooth Criminal. Uh, really, really interesting button lock knives, both with their downfalls. Um, especially this guy. I mean, it's an unusable flipper tab, to be blunt. I mean, just pulling down, like, there's just not enough detent to get it going. <sighs> like, yeah, I mean, if you give it wrist, but, like, what is this, 1942? You know? And then this guy with the weird flipper tab, it's just, I don't know, interesting. I'm really glad I got to check these out. Knives I've been interested in. I've rambled enough. Thank you so much, David. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. I appreciate you letting me rant, rave, and bullshit. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I will catch you later.